Uh, you just mentioned something about uh, uh, the fact that you're not, uh, uh, we're not threatening anyone or scaring anyone. Well, Christianity threatens people with uh, eternal damnation in hell. The mast masters and gurus they talk of suffering in the hideous places in the astral uh, realm until uh, the master takes pity on them. Uh, these are quite scary. Uh, let me come back to what you were saying. In your talks, you seem to... Uh, you only seem to, to echo this too. Uh, well, always say people will return to earth not knowing they had been here before and in a small body, in a very, in, a, in an environment in which is worse than in previous lifetimes and uh, because it's heavily polluted. Uh, so some will not be able to figure out where they are when they pass from this life, and some will be consigned to the fa uh, phantom zone. So what I wanted to ask about is this, uh, are these statements meant as, uh, as an ominous uh, warning of what is real? Uh, are they meant to push what you are presenting or to catch people's attention? And, uh, uh, basically, the statements are off of uh, what I see people deciding. Yeah. And so, uh, what I see the world deciding, you know, again, when people look up in the sky and they see the chemtrails and they go, oh, um, I don't believe that they're poisoning us. Just by that simple statement. Or uh, one of my neighbors said, oh, yeah, but there's nothing I could do about it. See, by those simple statements, uh, they're in agreement with it. And all I'm doing uh, with what I write, if you really look at it, I'm just confirming what they keep agreeing to. That's all. I'm not saying not to agree with it. It doesn't say that anywhere. I'm not saying that it's bad or that these people are bad or that they're doing the wrong thing. Do I? I don't say any of that. What I see is what people keep agreeing to. This is what's so fun about what I'm presenting, as opposed to, you know, even what Paul did or others, because they've created doctrines in their own way and restrictions for people to see things a particular way. Well, it worked at that time, just like when we were young and we went to high school and we went through all that. And you know what it's like because you're the teacher. You know, we've talked, and you like the little kids as opposed to the older ones in high school. You know how it is. It's a frame of mind, and that's all it is. It looks good for that time, but at a certain point, you, you're you glad to get past it. I was glad to quit because I didn't like the frame of mind. I was surfing at the time, and it's like, you know what? I'll just work a job here and there. I'll go be a surfer. I don't want to. I don't want to uh, see the world like that. I didn't want to become a businessman or whatever with the world. <clears throat> Even though I did create my own business, but I creatively did it in a certain way so that it would support me providing something for the world. But that becomes the difference, Charles. I simply see what's going on. That's all. And again, I don't criticize what's going on. I simply show people how cause and effect works. That's it. And they make the choice. You want that? You keep deciding the same things that you've done. Uh, you know, uh, I'm not into predictions, but as long as people keep deciding, as long as they get up every morning and drive their polluting car around, well, what's the end result of that? Is the air going to get better because of that? No, it's going to become more poison. So as, as people keep doing that, just the cars alone, and I mean without the GMO food, the Wi-Fi, the, uh, the blasts, the, uh, the fires, the chemtrails, and all this other stuff they're throwing on us, okay, the EMFs, whatever, vaccines, <clears throat> even without that, just that alone is going to eventually destroy the natural environment, isn't it? 
So I'm not into predictions. I'm just, I'm just, uh, you know, referring to cause and effect. That's it. And so it is how the individual takes it. And a person can say, oh, my gosh, you know what? I'm going to see if I can run my car in water. Gee, that's all it would take is a decision to do something different than you've always done. But as long as you keep doing the same thing, the end result is you're, you're going to be the effect of what you've decided. That's it. You made the choice. See how simple it is? And that's everything that I present. I never said that Joni and Harold were bad. You know what? I said I like their adventure. You know, they have the right to decide whatever they do. Just like the Pope and the, the black Pope and the Queen that eats children. And the United States government that as they take over a country to destroy others. Hey, you know what? I don't go out there and protest. I don't demonstrate. I'm not negating anything they do. I'm just showing people, you know, by the very fact <clears throat> of what they are doing, how cause and effect works because of the choices that each person makes. And the end result will be such. And so if these choices align themselves with the lower astral realm, that's where they are. But, you know, people in the corporation like Marjorie, oh, yeah, she's thinking that she's in the higher worlds. Guess what? There ain't no higher worlds. It's all a fallacy. The God world's chart is a fallacy. It's about awareness. It's a real universe. It's a theism. This is what life recognizes now. Life decides. We don't decide what life is. We make choices accordingly. So it's figuring out what life is now, not what people think it is. So they think in their minds. And again, when uh, Marjorie first passed over and Claudia first saw her, she saw this light around her. And so I'm listening to Claudia's experience because it's fun. And then all of a sudden, I intuitively recognize, oh, that light is knowledge. That's not the real light of the is. Because she didn't recognize the is. When you have the real light of the is, like the voice, and Claudia is seeing that she sees the difference, there is a huge difference. There's that recognition. Yeah. Seeing me and the boys and the others there. Oh, yeah. She'll tell you stories. See, they are the witnesses. That's why I have them do them. That's why I ask them. Because, you know, I can say anything, but they are the witnesses. So this is the fun part. And these people have made their choice. Marjorie, again, made her choice. She's a very good example. And, you know, they want her shut up simply because they don't want her to expose what's really going on. And she took hundreds with her that are infected. That's the thing, too. That becomes the difference, too, Charles. It's not only yourself, but all those people that you affect and influence. And they're all there with her. And it's like they've got some kind of plague. And Claudie's seen this, too. And so... I'm not deciding that people are going to be condemned to anything. It's all through their choices. I'm trying to show people how to make better choices and creatively get out of your old routines that are self-destructive. That's all. Otherwise, hey, have fun. Stay in. Your choice. Yeah, there's no do's and don'ts here. Go ahead, Charles. Yeah, Jim. Uh, I want I want to ask uh, whether there is a coincidence. Is there any? Is there a coincidence with the fact that you reside in the California, California, and that state has been specifically? targeted for destruction by the negative forces. So what can you say about uh, the laser and other uh, directed energy uh, devices that have uh, induced fires that are ravaging the state in which you reside? Uh, I look at it, uh, it's a coincidence that the new man is, uh, is resident there and uh, 
the state is, has been, uh, I don't know about other U.S. states, but this one seems to be on the, on the news. Uh, with these fires, this destruction from, from the skies, lasers and other kind of uh, devices. So why specifically uh, California? Is there any co coincidence with your residence there? What can you say about it? Coincidences are fun, aren't they, Charles? And so uh, here's an idea. <clears throat> have you ever, and I'm assuming you have because you're an intelligent person and you see the world news, etc., I'm assuming, and that is, is that how many times have you seen a demonstration outside the fences of the White House? Have you seen those before? Were there thousands, even millions of people demonstrating about the policies of the U.S. government outside the White House, Pennsylvania Avenue? Yes. Yeah, and they're shaking their fists, and they got signs, and they're yelling with bullhorns, and they're doing whatever. Of course, then when it's lunchtime, they all sit down, and they call the catering truck, and they order their burritos, right? Mm -hmm. They do that, too. Yes, because they got to eat, because they're out there suffering, because they've chosen to. But then you take the view, so you see the protesters, you're standing with them. Then uh, now you take the view of inside the White House, and you see all these protesters out there, outside the fence. It's kind of interesting, isn't it? And, you know, there's discussions going on. It's like, oh, my gosh, what do we do? Or, okay, that'll be fine. We'll just, uh, we can call the military, and we can, you know, gas them all or whatever, whatever the idea is. Okay, so it's kind of like that here. And you can ask Kelsey and Henry and Val. And again, they see it. And Claudia, she sees what's going on. And it is interesting, isn't it? Uh, you know, when I first brought out the is, and I was shown this in 2001 when I took the real rod of power in 2001. I was shown this. I knew what it was already. I knew what it was at that time, I'll say. Because there's always more to it. It's not just, oh, I recognize it. No, there's always more to it. It's like a tree just keeps growing. And But it's not about growth. It's about recognition. <clears throat> so, you know, as I kept uh, bringing this out, etc., and then in 07, uh, I was uh, in a new position with the new wave, and it became the all is. Well, it, interestingly enough, during that time, and it was planned and thought out, Long before that, ISIS, IS, IS comes about, doesn't it? Oh, gee, is that a coincidence too? Created by Obama with American soldiers in Texas? Yeah, it's not some strange uh, group over there that's with the Caliban or the Taliban or whatever uh, doing funny things. No, it's created right here by the U.S. government. All these things are, all the diseases, infections, whatever, they're all created right here. And so, uh, is that a coincidence too? No, it's not. Because they see what we're doing on the real side. <clears throat> and you'll notice that ISIS is still out there. You know, at one time, excuse me, at one time in history, that meant is, is. The is, is. That's what it meant. But over time, just like the corporation was taken over by Joni, it was taken over. And it became what it is today, a, a total destruction. Is there a coincidence about the is and the isness and ISIS? No. They see what we're doing on the real side, but they can't quite duplicate it. That becomes the difference. And they try to do it in a particular way according to how they see things, which is destruction. And this is what Joni and Harold are doing. Too. They're using what I'm saying in, in a particular way, but they can't quite do it because it's all about their distorted viewpoint. And no, there is no coincidence here. I've even seen that, you know, and they're creating them uh, disturbances and earthquakes. There's hundreds of earthquakes going on, California and Oregon. They want to create a 700 foot wave, like from Oregon. I read this years ago, and I'm not saying it's so that hits Southern California. 700-foot wave, tsunami, you know where that's going to go? That's going to go to Colorado, okay? 
700 foot. Well, I'll get my surfboard out when that comes and see if I can ride it. I'll see how far I can ride it. So again, no, there's no coincidence at all, young man. You know, they want to get rid of me and the people here also. But, you know, it's kind of like the White House. There's a fence around the property. And uh, the boys can do whatever they want. They can turn this world upside down. But they want to allow the free will to happen. But if they do, but we are doing things on the real side that are affecting things, too. And they're very upset with what I'm deciding on the real side. And we'll go over this more in part three of your choices on Monday, 10 a.m. We're going to record this on Blog Talk Radio uh, with uh, Claudia and myself and Kelsey, etc. And so, uh, yeah, yeah, there's no coincidence, Charles. Uh, they're very upset, and they're showing it. And plus, at the same time, you know, they're very creative because they want to build their railway system. And I just saw on Facebook that Feinstein, the, uh, the politician here, the Nazi politician in California with, uh, with Governor Brown, well, her husband uh, has got a billion-dollar contract to build the new rail system right where those houses are being destroyed. Well, gee, that's interesting. So, see, they get to do many things. See, they're multitasking, aren't they? They're multitasking. But at the same time, they're, they're putting more fear into people. They're scaring them. They're displacing them. Uh, they're getting rid of them. They're frying them. They're cooking them. And they're eating them, too. It's kind of like, uh, you know, uh, those wings you get at Kentucky Fried Chicken. This is what they're turning people into. A little secret sauce, and whoa, hey, they taste good. Because these are reptilians. And yeah, it's very interesting. This is the real earth. And so uh, what we're providing here is you want to wake up or you want to just what it is. So, yeah, there's no coincidence, Charles. They are very definite and they pay attention. And yeah, they don't want me here. Or yes, I, I'm really, uh, after we spoke yesterday, I I kept thinking about this, and uh, I really arrived at the conclusion that there is actually no coincidence in this. There must be a bigger picture that people cannot see, and you've confirmed it. 